Delta 21 days of beauty is here. Now I've missed a few days, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you know from those days if I picked up those particular items. But I'm also gonna let you know what I plan to pick up throughout the rest of the calendar. And just a few items I would avoid based on the experience I have had with them. So you can make that decision if it's something you were planning to pick up. Now on the very first day was September 2nd, so day one of the sale. I was able to pick up the RX primer from Too Faced. That is something that I wanted to pick up. I am working through samples I still have, so now I have a full size. And I do enjoy how it offers a lot of hydration on my skin. Also for September 2nd online deal was the Lime Crime palettes. I picked that up as well. I have never used Lime Crime's eyeshadows before. So I was very interested in the formula, see how it works out, and then I will let you know in my Makeup Monthly Box video for September. September 4th, I did pick up the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I picked up the shade Topaz. It has like a, um, not an unusual color for my skin tone. It kind of brings out these tones on my skin because it's warm undertone, but it, it looks different than other ones that I have. But when I put Topaz on, and then if I put any other powder highlighter on top, it just phew, comes to life. And it's really soft and just beautiful natural on the skin. So I wanted to make sure I got that. Blender cleanser, I don't know why I just went I want to move down to September 6th. Now on that date, they are selling the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. We have a lot of other options now to clean the sponges, clean the makeup brushes. I have used Dawn Dish Soap, but the blue one, I've used that one to clean brushes and sponges. It doesn't change the hairs. It doesn't change the actual uh, texture of the sponge. That's something I would recommend. I know some people use the Dr. Brommers. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Soap that's found at drugstores. That's supposed to work well. Myself, I haven't used it, but it's a product I hear a lot of people talking about. I also like to use Pomolive's Pure and Clear, so only that dish soap. That will work on my brushes. It also work on my sponge. Moving on to September 8th. Now, usually for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, they will have an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow product, or they have been for quite some time, and it tends to be the Brow Wiz. For this sale, they're having the actual brow definer pencil. Now that's a pencil that's slanted and it's not something I use for my brow routine. I'm a heavy whiz, the brow whiz, because it's such a fine, thin point and you can just draw your lines. However, if you want to be able to have something a little bit more thicker, something that's going to kind of just fill in a lot more, not be too precise, then that might be the option for you. But for this sale, oh my goodness, the first time I am going to have to pass on that because I'm a brow whiz girl. So I just wanted to touch base on that in case you were wondering which one I would recommend. For September 10th, they're gonna have an online deal for the Flesh Highlighters. Now this is something in which I actually swatched the highlighters in the stores at one of my uh, Ulta locations. And I swatched the powder highlighters and then I started to play with them on my cheeks. Nothing really stood out to me as far as the shades, the actual powder uh, texture. It just really looked like a lot of my highlighters I already have. So just wanted to let you know that in case you were wondering. Moving on to September 11th, they have the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners. Now that is $9. Those are items that I've noticed have been in quite a few of their past sales as well. Now I've picked up two before in prior sales and the two that I like is Dolly Danger and Incognito. These are two shades that not only work for my skin tone, they just work pretty much with a lot of my different lipsticks and lip glosses. They're long, they're very thick, the, the tips are not anything where it's very pointy. I mean, it's almost like you're kind of putting on a bullet lipstick, and I like that. And then on the other end, it has the brush so you can get very precise. Let's see, I would recommend it if you're maybe perhaps mature and you're worried about the lip liners kind of bleeding outside of your lines. They're so forgiving that you can put it on like that and it's really not gonna to start migrating. Also, if you have perhaps a medical condition in which you have shaking, your hands shake, not very much a lot of steadiness when you put them on. Again, they're so forgiving that they really apply well 
on the lips. So if you were thinking about trying these, it's something I would recommend. The following day is September 12th. Now this is something I would recommend. I already have one, so I'm not gonna pick up another one, but it's the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. So this is on sale for $13.50, so it's a great uh, price. I don't like to look dry at all. And this powder does not dry out my skin. It doesn't look cakey on the skin. It doesn't cake underneath the eyes with your concealer. It can mattify and help control your shine. Almost a powder that kind of is like mimicking your skin type, like it knows and it just kind of adjusts based on that. It's, it's quite an unusual type of powder, I feel. But it's something also that I feel can, the quality of it is right up there with a lot of those other popular powders powders out there like the um, like the Laura Mercier powder you know usually this one and the Cody is on my desk here and those are just ones that again very like silk light just smooth on the skin this one is right up there with them and at $13.50 and some change great time to try it out for September 15th I do want to let you know for Mario Badescu's vitamin C serum now it's $22.50 this is is a serum that I used to use way back in the day. It is a serum that I will not use because it only has 7% of vitamin C in it. So if you are someone that is just getting into um, like adding vitamin C into your routine, that might be something you would want, 7%, so that way your skin can kind of get used to it. I am now up to 21% and sometimes I can feel it. So my skin is still adjusting to that. So again, I just want to let you know, it's not written anywhere. It doesn't stay anywhere on the bottle, the actual percentage. So just let you know it is 7%. If you haven't tried Too Faced's chocolate bar palette, now's the time. It's 50% off on September 16th. It is neutral based and you have like a little bit of pops of color here and there and you can build up, you can do light, you can go up to darkness with the dark chocolate colors. Then you have the plums and you have like one green stuck in there and you have like a violet color, like a purple with a little bit of pink in it. That's the one I have on my lid today. Just a lot of fun colors. You have the white chocolate, which is just that matte white. It's not white white, but it's that eggshell white. I love that for my brow bone. Then you have champagne truffle. You can use it as a highlighter on your face, your tear duct. It's just a classic. I think of the chocolate bar with Too Faced, like how I think of Neil Lane jewelry, how it's always Neil Lane for The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Like it's always his rings and he's always there no matter where they happen to be. It's the same thing <laughs> with Too Faced. You think of Too Faced, you think of their chocolate bars and all the other ones that they have. So again, you haven't tried it. It's a great palette. Definitely recommend it and it's half off. For September 21st, Benefits Professional Primer is on sale. Let's see how much is it for. $16, so marked down from $31. I am still working through the numerous samples that I have before I can use my one full size one that I have. I mean, this just lasts forever. I cannot make a dent in these samples. But this so far is one of my favorite pour ones as far as pressing it in just in the region that I will have like my pores and it just really smooths it out. You do have a lot of time before the sale comes up for September 21st. Maybe you can get a sample at Sephora first, try it out and then decide if it's something you want to commit to. But I do recommend it. It's a great primer. Another classic is on sale for September 22nd and that is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is also a setting spray that layers great with the skin. So if you are really concerned about the makeup melting and moving, you happen to live in those climates, you can do your layers. You know, put on your foundation, put a little bit of this on, put on your other products, put a little bit of this on, do your face, at the end, spray it on again, and I mean, it is locked. It's a great setting spray. And it's made by a company that, I mean, that's what they're particularly known for, Scandinavia, so very good. Highly recommend, it's the same. Have your classics, your setting spray, have your chocolate bar, and you're good to go. Last are the actual hot buys. So these are gonna be deals, special savings on items throughout the entire sale. So they're gonna be available 
you know, every day. Hopefully they're in stock for you. First item I recommend is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. So the shade I have is Berry Adore. So this one is wonderful if you have deeper skin tones. You have three different shades. You have the plum, you have like a coral shade here, the orange, and then like a, a, like a fuchsia darker pink shade. You can do what I do a lot of times. I, go, I dab in with my sponge and get all three or I use my brush brush them across and that's usually the, the flesh the color that I have I, it just works great something I am going to pick up is from pure cosmetics so I have a few of their lashes already I am wearing the lashes in the style I think it's diva yes so this is diva that I have on I actually didn't even know pure sold lash glue so their glue is four dollars and then the lashes are going to be on sale for eight dollars as long as you take care of these they will last a long time. I've had these since last year when I went to fame I picked these up and I still have them. They last a long time. This style is I believe bombshell. Yep it's bombshell. Now bombshell I'm going to show you just in case because bombshell tends to be one that's very popular and it has a very let, 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 it, let me put it this way. It's out there. It has a lot more glamour, a lot more oomph versus uh, Diva. Now Diva, the one I have on, this one is what I would say probably a little bit more work appropriate if you work in a very corporate environment because it is so, it's not so loud. But Bombshell, which is a pretty popular style, this one would be good if you wanna stick to, okay, I wanna stick to something for night, I'm going out on a date, I'm going out you know, with the girls or whatnot. This is one that I had picked up last year as well. I think it was last year. This is their Pro Glow palette. And why I wanted to touch base on this is it's a sculpting palette. So it has highlighters and it also has um, the sculpting cream on the bottom with the powder and it has the two mirrors on the side. With the palette, I do tend to kind of fold it backwards like this so that way you can use the mirror in the back. And then here's all the product right here. So there's various tones with the highlighter. You have various tones for the highlighters. You have some pale gold shades, you have the bronze shades. So depending on your skin tone, you can mix and match, do what you like. You can use it um, for eyeshadow, tear duct shades. That's also how I've been using it. But what I wanted to just to touch base on is the actual sculpting product down here. What they need to have done is put some sort of a cover on the cream product because the highlighters will get into this cream. That has happened to me each and every time I've used this. So what I did is I just took the plastic cover that comes inside the palette and I just cut it to the same size as the cream and taped it here on the side. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, but I just got tired of it pulling uh, the sparkles in there. Then that's gonna show up in your contour. And then this is the powder that you can use to set. So this shade actually shows up on me. And then sometimes I set it with this, which is more my skin tone. And then other times I'll just use this for eyeshadow. That's it. But I just wanted to touch base on this, let you know there is no cover. This is my cover that I did myself. And if they had a cover, I think that this would have made the palette something very functional for a lot of people. When it comes to Tarte, I'm just using up as much as I can of my Tarte products. It's not something that I want to repurchase and add more to my collection, but just wanna let you know specifically with that there's no cover and the product will get all over the place. And that's it. Those are the items I plan on picking up, what I picked up, what I already have, what I recommend, and of course from Hot Buys as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you all enjoy the sale. Have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.